Oakland County investigators have told us shooting suspect Ethan Crumbly and his parents met with school officials the day of the shooting to discuss, quote, concerning behavior. And we're not exactly sure what that behavior included, but the sheriff's department says it was not notified of any issues. So when do schools sound the alarm and why? Paula Tutman has been taking a close look into the so-called discipline ladder to see how schools juggle safety concerns. I don't know if you remember last summer, this, the Romeo Rock in Washington Township, was a point of contention and division. But take a look at what's going on right now. Right now, it is a thing of unity, joining this community with the community of Oxford, which is truly grieving. I also want to get back to this whole thing about discipline and what superintendents across the region are dealing with right now. Taking a look at what discipline is right now, but also how it might need to change. The practice of restorative discipline moves from pure punitive discipline. In other words, you do something bad, you get punished. With restorative discipline, the root of the discipline problem is more deeply explored while doing everything possible to keep that student in the learning environment, explains Dr. Steve Matthews, superintendent of the Novi Community School District. It really is a ladder of discipline. You know, and our goal is to keep students in school because we believe that they need to be, be part of a larger caring community. And if they are, then they will understand that there's certain expectations for behavior. Think of school discipline as rungs on a ladder. So there are specific off-ramps that are non-negotiable, according to Dr. John Dignan, superintendent of Wayne Westland Community Schools. Student violence, like fighting, um, the, the other one would be any kind of sexual assault, uh, drugs to a certain degree, especially if, if the student's selling. A first contact with a problem, depending on the severity, likely starts with a conversation with a teacher to de-escalate. So a teacher may hear, overhear a student in a classroom make a threat against another student. And so uh, typically, if, if, it, if, it's a, if it's a verbal threat, the teacher will try to address it in the classroom. If the problem persists, the student and their behavior is elevated to contact with a school principal and likely school counselor. If that problem persists or is egregious enough, parents are brought in. And that's when we start to use the tools like suspension, short term, long term. Uh, we, we rarely in Novi get to the point where we expel students because we believe that students are learning and, and part of learning is making mistakes. There's a fine line there, but at the same time, you can't kind of walk that line and, and then compromise the safety and well-being of your school community at the same time. So it, it's, it's a difficult dance at times. 